Two words, Ruby Ridge. The national spotlight was clearly focused on a hilltop in North Idaho 25 years ago this week. Randy Weaver moved his family to Idaho in the 1980s. He bought about 20 acres of land near Bonners Ferry. In 1990, the federal government brought an illegal weapons charge against him, a charge that Weaver refused to show up to court for. It was the start of a contentious and violent standoff. You know what I hope people take away from this is that all these could have been prevented if Randy Weaver just would have showed up in court. Nobody wanted to go up there and kill anybody. We just needed to have him show up in court. Coming up this Sunday night, we take a closer look at the siege at Ruby Ridge, what went wrong and what we have learned from it. That is Sunday night, 10 o'clock, right here on Six on Your Side. With school